When you need to do a front-to-back registration on a C60 because you want the front and the back images to match very closely, for example, on business cards, there are easy ways to do that in the C60 itself now. It's actually one of the easiest process, if not the easiest process in the industry. The first step is to log in. So we'll tap the login key just there, or we can tap here. And then we'll type in the username, password, admin. On some machines, you don't need to do anything. One, 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 one. Some machines are unlocked. And then we'll go to machine status. We'll go to tools. We will scroll down once on the right side and we'll push maintenance just here. Scroll down once, you'll see alignment adjustment. And in there you'll have two buttons. Auto alignment adjustment, the first button is to create those alignments that you will assign to a tray. And the right button, manual alignment, is to assign those alignments to given trays. So when you create an alignment, usually you'll tie it to the tray that you just created it on. And so this is where we will do that later on. To start, we go to Auto. And then we'll print the calibration chart. And after that, we're going to scan it. So in this case, we'll do 1117, and it's under the pound cover because we're going to do plain paper. So that 1117 will be able to scan it through the feeder. If we did 1218, we'll need to do the document glass. I'll show you both. The more the toner you put on paper, the more the paper shrinks. So if you want your front and back to match well, Try to mimic how much toner you're putting on. In this case, it's plain paper, 3 for 30% gray. Sounds about right for normal work. So I'm going to push print. Just one sheet will be enough. Now that's done, we push confirm. Then we're going to scan it using the document feeder here. As you can see, it shows you put the black square facing you, basically. So our sheet that's over here, we'll want to rotate it like this so that the black square faces us. Now we put the paper in the feeder. We push scan. Wait one second. Start. And we get this screen. So the checkbox means we want to save it in tray 2, which is true. We're creating an alignment for tray 2, so we want to save it. We'll leave that checked. Right now, there's no alignment set to that tray, so it shows us not set. We'll tap this. Now we can save, as you can see, a total of 20 alignments. So we'll use the first one to save it there. We'll tap change heading again to give it a name. We'll be a little bit more precise in terms of name. So we'll say tray 2, 1117, and 24 pound. That way, when you uh, swap your alignments around, you'll know which one is which. Save, save, save it to the tray, yes. And now we're done. If we go to manual, if you remember, I told you this was to see your alignments are tied to which tray, and there you go. Tray 3 and is now set with this alignment. So the proof is in the pudding. We'll uh, try it out. The before was not bad, but not perfect. Well, a hairline is, is difficult to uh, call not a... And let's see here. You can see it's a hairline off. Now the second sheet that comes off, it's almost dead on. No. Almost dead on. So it's hairline off. It's pretty good. So now we're ready to hit confirm and we're done. Now, if we are doing 12 by 18, we'll have to uh, scan it with the glass, which means we'll have to use this black sheet that you can download from the support site of Xerox.ca 
for your C60, or you can email your analyst or solutions consultant. And this is actually the instruction sheet. We're going to print that, put that on the glass like this, cover it with this sheet here, and we're going to try to match those two squares, black and white. So this white square with the black square that's going to be on the sheet there. And we'll do that four times. So my tray has uh, a glass stock, it shouldn't be said as plain, but we'll hit print. So we get our sheet. So step one, we remember we look at our sheet. Step one, we're aligning one black square, which is this square here, with the white square there. So put that there and try to move this around until you align it. When you use two hands, it's actually quite easy. If you use one hand, you're in trouble. So give me just a moment. So you can see here, let me zoom in. How the two squares are sort of lined up and the line is lining up with the paper itself. And so, let me move it out of the way a little bit. You see that line there? That line, you're going to line it up with the paper itself. So this has to stay cornered. Make sure you keep it cornered there. And then align your paper, the squares with the squares, and align with the paper, and you'll be in good hand. Once you got it done, you're gonna close your window. In here, in this case, we're gonna say scan with document glass. We got zero scans, that's true. We're gonna hit scan. And now we're ready to do the second scan. The second scan is the two black squares, which is here. We're going to rotate the sheet, put that back up, and hit scan. Make sure that you uh, line up everything well in the same way every time you scan something. So step three, this one, after that we'll do the two gray squares. I'll be back. And so now we're done. We did four scans here. We've hit start. Again, we're going to give it a name. So let's save it in this library here. So that's tray one. It's 12 by 18. Whoa, 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 whoa. And it's 80 pound glass text. Save, save. Save it to the tray, close. So if we look at our trays, both of them have an alignment now. I could change that by putting it to default if I was going to do a new alignment for a different kind of stocks. But in this case, it's good it's there. So I can proof it again by putting 10 here. So we'll look at the result before and after. So before it was pretty much dead on. It's hard to see with a video, but... It's dead on. Yep. See if I can tap it. Yeah, it's literally dead on. That's what you can expect. So here we go. Back on our screen. We hit confirm. And now we're done. So just remember to go back to your alignments. You go to machine status, tools, 
maintenance, scroll down to alignment, and then you can create alignments and sure, change or assign them to your trays here.